What is going on, people? I am here for, if you couldn't tell by the title, day number 13 of the 31 Days Hath October series, which I'm doing on this channel. Uh, for those of you who don't know what uh, the 31 Days is, uh, it's my, you know, style, my own take on the 31 Days of Halloween, 31 Days of Horror, whatever you call it. Uh, there's a whole bunch of people doing something along the lines of this. Uh, me, I tend to do more independent movies. I try to at least. If I can't find it, I'll do a movie I enjoy, which I'll get into. But I try to do it, uh, like I said, indie movies, and I try to do them in alphabetical order. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I gotta pivot every once in a while. This year I did a little bit different, but I try my best to stick it, stick to indie and to stick to uh, alphabetical order. There's a whole bunch of people doing something other than that. Uh, whether it's, you know, just random movies or sequels or um, uh, some uh, retro horror is doing, I think, 100 movies in 31 days. Pretty much, it's a you're going to get a horror movie review a day for the entire month of October. So, 31 horror movie reviews in 31 days. Everybody loves watching horror movies during October. So, you know, if you're looking for new movies to watch... Not only my channel, but everybody else, which I'll link at the end and talk about at the end. Uh, check our channels out and you'll find some movies that you might have forgotten about or never heard of that you can add to your queue of movies to watch. Uh, so anyway, before I get into my review, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you um, enjoy the review. Hit that bell button. Really don't have to do it this month because I'll be doing a review every day. But for future reference, if you want to see unboxings or, uh, you know, updates or anything like that, reviews, uh, definitely hit that bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff. So anyway, like I said, I try to do it in alphabetical order. I did a little bit different this year, but today's letter is I. And the movie I went for, if you couldn't tell by the title, Idle Hands. Uh, this was written uh, by, uh, or directed by uh, Rodman uh, Flender. Uh, it's written by Terry Hughes Burton and Rob Milbauer. Uh, it stars Devin Sawa, Seth Green, Eldon Henson, uh, Jessica Alba, among others. So pretty much what this is, is a story of uh, Devin Sawa's hand getting, pose getting possessed and um, starting to kill people. Not only does he kill his parents, but he kills his friends, and now his hand is, you know, a liability kind of deal. So what happens is he ends up cutting his hand off, um, and now this hand is running amok by itself. You know, it, it's possessed, so now it's alive, and cutting it off was probably the worst thing that he could have done. He could have tried to do anything well you'll find out that there's a few people uh vivica a fox being one of them who is now after this hand uh for uh to save the world pretty much so she's now after this uh hand because uh it's happened before and now it's it's taken over uh devon sawa's hand um this one is definitely a fun movie it's a horror comedy of course um but it has that like feel to it of um, like an American werewolf in London at one point in time where an American werewolf in London where the buddy dies, he, you know, comes back in a premonition or whatever it is. Well, let's just say two of his buddies, Devin Sawa's buddies, they end up getting killed, but now they're there in spirit, I guess you want to call it. So they're <clears throat> dead, but they're still around kind of deal. This one happens to be one of my favorite movies of the 90s, especially, um, you know, this was before I really got, like, deep, deep into horror. Uh, but it definitely had, you know, its horror aspects. This is more of a comedy than anything. Uh, it has its gore scenes and stuff. So that's what kind of makes it a horror movie. But it has um, more comedic elements to it. Uh, like I said, Jessica Alba's in it. She's, like, the love interest in this. Um, and, of course, like, the, the movies that just... Between the, the main stars, Seth Green, Eldon Henson, and Devin Sawa, those were, like, the movies I watched in the 90s, they had, were in a whole bunch of them. So, you can't go wrong with them three. Like I said, Vivica A. Fox is in it. Um, there's a whole bunch of people in this one. It's just a fun movie. If you haven't seen it, uh, 
I'd say definitely go ahead and check it out for sure. This is the um, Screen Factory uh, copy. This was the original uh, cover art to it. The one I have on the DVD. And then they came out with this pretty cool looking, uh, you know, slip cover for it. But this one is, like I said, the Screen Factory version. It's out on DVD. Um, it's It's a couple places. I think... I don't remember if it has like a, a Blu-ray release besides um, Screen Factory, but this one has is loaded with um, like special features between interviews with the director and uh, Eldon Henson, Sean Whalen's in it. I forgot he plays a cop. Um, who else? Christopher Hart and more uh, director and cast commentary, deleted scenes, making of featurette. So Screen Factory, if you don't know Screen Factory, check them out. They're you know, not only most of the time it's their collectors editions that have a lot of uh, special features, but even their other releases. Most of the time, that sometimes there's none, uh, but for most of the time there is some. Uh, you know, behind the scenes and commentaries and stuff at least for uh, the movies and everybody. I personally love special features. I don't know everybody else, but this is loaded with it. So definitely go ahead and check out the Scream Factory edition of it, which I'll link in the uh, description. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen any of my reviews, I'll leave everything I talk about in the description. Um, I'll leave the IMDb link to, you know, their write-up and stuff. I'll leave the trailer for it so you can check it out if you want to. I'll leave, like I said, the link for uh, where you can purchase it. I believe you can still purchase it on Amazon. Uh, also in the description, like I was t telling you, a whole bunch of people are doing some kind of 31 days. So if you've seen Idle Hands and seen all the movies I reviewed so far... You could check out the Thirteenth Wolfman or Retro Horror. I am like uh, Ice Lord or Super Retro Throwback Reviews. There's a whole bunch of people doing it. I have all their uh, YouTube channels linked, so you can check it out. You'll find movies there that you, like I said, maybe never heard of, maybe forgot about, whatever have you. You'll have movies for years if you're the ones, you know, just to watch scary movies in October. I watch them all the time. But some people, you know, just wait till October and then start watching scary movies. So uh, if you're like that, you'll probably have movies, like I said, for years uh, to come. But definitely check out, uh, you know, everybody else who's doing some kind of uh, 31 days, uh, you know, show the love and stuff. Also in the description, I'll leave all my other social medias. I got a Facebook fan page. I got a Twitter, which I hardly ever use. I got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me. I now have a TikTok that I do uh, reviews and show off the stuff that I do have in my collection. And I'm part of the Wicked Horror Show. Last night we had Michael Levy on from the movie Stream. Uh, so you can check that out. Uh, it's on video, but then we take the audio. And uh, if you're more into an audio podcast, we take the audio from that and put it up pretty much a week later. Um, so you can check that out. We do a show every Tuesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard uh, Standard Time on Facebook and YouTube. Um, and then, like I said, if you're more into uh, the audio side, we a week later that show will go up. So if you're into horror movies, if you're into especially indie horror movies, um, check our stuff out. I, I think we're pretty fun. So uh, check everything, like I said, in the description. Everything I talk about will be in there. Uh, and yeah, that's day number 13. Uh, remember, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this review, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit that bell button and comment. Let me know if you've seen this movie, if you enjoy it. And uh, if you want to, you can share this with other people as well. Uh, so I guess until tomorrow, I'll see you guys.